Greetings once again. This is Terrence Warren, Cisco Two Guy, CCMP, and this is the Lab 11 for Ticket 11 for the T-shirt exam. Now, um, moving right along, we've come from Ticket 1, skipped Ticket 2, and we've also skipped uh, Ticket 10 because, as far as I know, those two are removed. So now we're at Ticket 11 or Lab 11. And we're going to go through this one just as we did the other ones. So let's get started. All right. So just like every other ticket we've had thus far, uh, client one is unable to reach the external web server 209.65.200.241. So we go ahead and start from client one and using the ping plan process we're going to try and ping R1 and R2 and if you familiarize yourself with the T-Shoot topology that could be downloaded from the Cisco website or the Cisco Tutor Guide website and familiarize yourself with the IP addresses of those devices you know R1 and R2 is 10.1.1.1 and 10.1.1.2 so we're going to start with R1. And usually, you know, according to the ping plan, if you can't ping those, then you go to the switches. So let's try. See, we're getting a reply from our gateway saying that R1 is unreachable. So let's try R2. And R2 is also unreachable. So let's ping the gateway. Ping 10.2.1.1. And we have a response from the gateway. So we are getting to the gateway. But we're not getting to R1, R2. So in the event that that happens, you're unable to reach R1 or R2, but you can get out the gateway, we go to R4. Now we don't really have to ping R4. Let's just go to R4. Let's see, but and what's the IP address to R4? It's 10.1.1.10. So we can try and ping R4. We don't have to. We can just go to R3 or R4 because uh, we already know that we can't reach R1 and R2, so those are the only two left. So, but just for you know uh, troubleshooting sake, let's ping n.1.1.10. Unreachable. Okay. Maybe I pinged the wrong interface. Let's try n.1.1.9. Unreachable. Alright, so we're just going to go to R4. We're going to get into the command line of R4. Oh, we don't need anything. We're going to do a show run. And let's just look. Now, I always look at the protocols because a lot of times that seems to be where some of the issues are is in the protocols. I look at the serial interfaces. I see EIGRP. All right, so I'm all the way at the bottom. So I'm going to scan back up to the top. Maybe I missed something. I didn't see OSPF. I thought I saw, okay, there's OSPF. Where? 
here is EI GRP. And we're still looking Alright, now I've studied this, this output and our problem is under router egrip let me pull it back up under router egrip ERGRP10 right here do you see this statement here redistribute OSPF1 that's an incomplete statement. There's supposed to, supposed to be more to that for it to function. So, <clears throat> that's our issue. Now, if you remember, in the redistribution lab, there was more to that uh, command than just redistribute, redistribute OSPF1. If you remember, it was redistribute OSPF1, and it was followed by some metrics or maybe a route map. So, in the exam, there's definitely more to that. Now, again, this is packet tracer, so it's not exactly how it is in the exam. And I can do a video later to show you exactly, or, or maybe more, of what to look for. But just remember this. This is the issue with this ticket, is the redistribute. So, let's check our answers. The issue is definitely is on R4, as I said. Um, the faulty technology is IPv4 route redistribution. And the corrective action is uh, and there it is redistribute OSPF1 route map. You see how they got it here? It's definitely the wrong way it's written. The statement does not go like that. And the one you want to look for, the one you want it should be is the redistribute OSPF1 route map OSPF with the arrow pointing to EIGRP. So that's it for lab 11, or ticket 11. Um, short, to the point, and again, just look for the redistribute command to be the issue in R4 on, the, on this lab. Now when you get these labs, these tickets on the exam, you won't know which one is which. So. Uh, remember, if you can't ping R1 and R2, but you can ping your gateway, you start from R4. Got it? So, uh, thank you for watching. This has been Terrence Warren, Cisco Tudor Guy, and I'll see you in the next video.